Hi, I'm John. Thanks for joining me. Sometimes when you're making a map, you have all the pieces of data that you need to make your map, but they aren't all arranged into a nice, tidy attribute just ready for your cartography. Here's how to do some squishing of that data. My goal is to make a map showing the population of people aged 85 plus. Do these people look 85? It's the best I could do. Here is US Census data showing populations of people in various five-year age groups. And if I scan through the attributes, I can find the group of males aged 85 plus, and also the group of females aged 85 plus. But they don't actually have an attribute showing total population 85 plus. I'm gonna have to smush these men and women together. And I'll do this dynamically by making a virtual field using an expression. Now let's take a look at the styles for our soon to be thematic map layer and we can add a field or build an expression. I'll call this expression 85 plus and in it, I'm just going to add together the 85 plus males and the 85 plus females. Expressions use arcade and arcade uses a dollar sign to denote I'm gonna use a feature. And I'll scroll way down this list to find males 85 plus. You can see the alias there on the right highlighted, which is really handy. And to this, I will add dollar sign feature and find the value for population of females 85 plus. And then I can just save this new virtual attribute. And then I'll switch to a choropleth style rendering and take a look at what we've got. Yes. Technically, we've succeeded. We have a map showing the total population of people aged 85 plus, but visually, it's actually pretty indistinguishable from overall population. And we have to dig into thinking about being a map maker and what we want to communicate. Probably what we really want to communicate here is the proportion of the overall population who's 85 plus. No problem whatsoever. I'm just going to edit this expression that we wrote and tweak the math problem. So I'll convert it into a ratio. I'll put parentheses around this guy and I'm just gonna divide it by total population. And now we have a percentage of population aged 85 plus, which gives us a much more useful visualization of this phenomenon. Tell you what, let's get crazy. I'm gonna make a bivariate map, add another attribute to this, and that one will just be total population. And now we have circles that are sized by that total population. And the color of those circles is the proportion that's 85 plus. There's all kinds of ways to visualize this, but the point is you can use expressions to create Franken fields virtually for your maps if you need them.